In this video, we are going to see how to convert this sentence into a nice looking slide like this. This is typically called typographic art or text art. I am not suggesting that you do it for every slide, but slides which have high significance where you are showing some important concept, it is worth taking that effort. And trust me, the effort is not much. So let's get started. First of all, I want to break this sentence into smaller pieces. So I'm just going to cut this text and paste it into the bullets area. Now I'm going to cut it into the pieces I want. Once it is into bullets, we can convert it to a smart art. I'm using smart art as a quick method to change this into individual pieces and put them into their own text boxes. You could have done this manually by copy pasting, but I find this simpler. Now this smart art is purely temporary. I say convert to shapes. Now these are individual shapes and I can ungroup them. Now while they're ungrouped, I'm going to change many things. I'm going to remove the unwanted fill color and the border and I'm going to put some text color. I don't need this text box, so I'm going to delete it. This is the background of the slide. Let's make it black so things stand out. I want to only focus on this word hungry and I want to hide all of them temporarily. This is done from selection pane. It's available under home, select, selection pane. What a better option would be hide all and just enable this guy. I don't want it uppercase, I'm just going to make it lowercase and increase the font size. Shift control greater than is a fast way of increasing the font size. And I want this to be a chunky font, so I'm going to take Arial Black. Now from a design point of view, Arial Black is not a favorite font at all, but this is just for demo purpose. Now I have a picture showing some food. I copy that picture and paste it here and I'll send it to back. This picture I'm going to arrange in such a way that the food I want to show through the font is overlapping. Now while the picture is selected I press shift and click on the text. Both are selected. Now we go to drawing tools format and choose intersect from here. Now intersect is a very powerful feature. It looks at the common area where both the objects overlap and that part of the picture becomes part of the text. Of course at this stage now text is no longer editable it has become a single image. Now I say show all and hide the picture for the time being. Move them around so that the picture doesn't overlap them and then I say show all and arrange everything. And finally, we get this nice looking slide. So try this out yourself and share it with your friends and colleagues if you like it. Subscribe to this YouTube channel as well as Efficiency365.com, which is my blog. That's all for now. Thank you.